Hello, we're continuing with this Revit uh, modeling tutorial for timber framing for a small house. And this is the video where we're going to put timber framing into this. And for this particular video, we're going to be working on the walls. So I'm going to just get these roofs out of the way for now by hiding them. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of this because that'll be part of the truss. So uh, I don't want that in here and I'm leaving these because they're joined with the walls so so I've been working on plans and trying to do concept sketches for fitting the timber frame into our model just to give me a conceptual view of how I'm going to put these in okay so uh, let's get started before I do anything I just want to change something in these walls so edit type edit Okay, so on the outside we're going to have a brick, a normal brick, that's fine. And I want the cavity to be 50 mil. And then this, we're going to change this into timber, for timber framing. It's not necessary. This part's not really necessary to put in... Uh, for the timber framing because we're going to put the timber framing separately but I just want to I just want to do it in case we need it later so structure timber rafter layer yeah that should be good enough okay and the thickness of this is going to be 150 so the dimensions of the timbers we're using for the frames are 50 by 150 Okay, and we'll leave the plaster on. It's okay. We, we'll add, we'll insert something else as well. So on one side of the timber, we'll have an OSB board as well. A plywood board. Plywood sheathing. So let's see if we can find something like that. OSB. Oh, there it is. Oriented strand board. Yeah. Let's put that in and use it. The thickness of this is going to be 9.5 mil. And we also need on top of this building paper if we can find it. You know what, all this technical information, we'll talk about it another time. For now, we're just going to put the timber frame into the model so i'll get rid of this so this is fine okay now the wall's gonna get fat ah, and change much which is okay i want to do the same with this edit right so we have that this can stay the same it doesn't really matter to be honest that's going to be 150. Um, I'll change it to um, timber. And I'm going to put an OSB board in there too, which is at 9.5 millimeters. This is as technical as we'll get for this video. In another video, in a dedicated video, I'll explain all the technicalities of what we're building here. And the purpose of this video is just to shove a frame into our model. Okay, that's all fine. I was hoping to see all the insides. Maybe if I use a section box. There it is. So our brickwork is this. We have a 50 mil cavity there. And this large space is where the timber studs will sit. Okay, now I'm going to load in the structural timber members for this model. Going into insert, load family, timber, timber should be okay. What are we actually looking at? Structural columns, timber will be fine. Wood, timber, open, load anyone in who cares, okay. And then go into structure 
column and we're changing this duplicating it remember into a 50 by 150 so that's 50 by 150 and I'm gonna drop one in from under plan uh, where are we column so I'm dropping this in under plan and of course it has to do the difficult thing of hiding it give me a second Okay, there it is. Now I'll just shade this so that we can see what's happening. Now this should fit here. I'm supposed to use the align tool. And I want to lock wall faces. Yep. Using the tab key on the keyboard, I come to this line and click it. Then I click this. And it's disappeared. Because it's inside and we're seeing the top of the wall. All right, so um, I'll undo that and I'll just make this a bit higher so we can see it better. Uh, top level should be roof. Okay, for now and then we'll change it later. I'm going to use the align tool to just get it right. That's how a timber stud's going to look inside the wall, supporting the wall. All right, now what's this random wall that just appeared? Was that always there? No, it wasn't. Now I'm going to load in the top and bottom rails for this stud. I'll load one in, come back. Because if you try to load from structural columns, it'll give you a warning and say, no, you can't do that. Go to structural framing. There it is. Wood, timber. Okay. Just any random one. Well, I'm going to have to load in something else then. Load family. Glue lamp, dimensional lumber. We'll use that for something else because I can see a use for that. The windows. I'll go for glue lamp. Doesn't matter what it is, it just has to be wood. Um, architecture, beam, beam, structure, beam, glue lamp. Now this has to change. Duplicate. 50 by 150 50 by 150 that's not what I was hoping it would do change that to 150 and change that to 50 that's better I'm not going to get too technical in this video, but I will mention some things just so you can follow along. So the first thing that we need to drop onto this plan is a sill plate. A sill plate. These are just timbers. Where are you? So these are going to be timbers which are on the floor, which are attached to the concrete on the floor or the foundations. And they go all the way around and they're bolted into the ground and then the frames are fixed onto these that's how that's how you're supposed to do it so let's put some sill plates in um, i'm just gonna get rid of that and put a new one in now i want it to be directly on the ground i'm not sure how this is gonna turn out but let's let's see i think this should be Here, yeah, like this. Level with the bottom of the wall. Okay, I'm just gonna make another plan so that we can see this better. FFL. 
Let's make another one and call it Sill Plate Plan. Duplicate. Rename Sill Plate Plan. Alright, the goal is to see that sill plate, so we're gonna have to play with some tools until we see it. There it is. Probably help if I do it by category, actually. Alright, so we gotta do the same thing to the windows. Category. 50. Okay, and I'll do the same with the doors. Make sure everything except that is transparent. Translucent, rather. In front of me, I have a sill plate plan. But you can just follow what I'm doing. So this this sill is going up to here. Is it me or is this sill wider than it's supposed to be? Now I'm holding control on the keyboard and I'm dragging this out. And then I'm rotating it by 90. Why don't I just draw a new one? Because I don't want to. And then move this from the corner to here. Now this sill plate's gonna go right up to the end. So it has to go up to here. I'm right. And let's have a quick look in 3D. That's good. Now the reason we're seeing a tricky line in there is because I forgot to change the base walls. So edit type. Edit. <clears throat> it's going to be 50. 150. That'll be timber as well. Timer. And we'll drop in the OSB. Temporarily, we'll make the walls see-through. So now the job is to run this all the way around. But in a certain way. So, hello. I imagine that if you're this far into the video and you're this far into the series and you've been watching the channel for a bit, I assume that you know what to do here and I'm gonna let you figure it out on your own. It's not hard. All you have to do is extend the timber bits and make them join together. How they're joining together, in what exact way, I will pop it up on the screen. But yeah, I trust you to figure this part out on your own. It's very easy. If I uh, if I try to talk through every single thing, every single time, the videos will get tedious and boring and you, the viewer, will have no room to grow. And if you don't know what to do at this point, then that means that you need to go back and watch some other videos so that you understand how this works. Thank you. Thanks. You should do it, okay? Okay. Okay, that's the sill plate done. So, just to explain again, the frames are going to be fixed to this sill plate and the sill plate is bolted down to the concrete. 